you feel behind in life? Do you feel as if you're reaching that age in which your other friends are more accomplished than you? When you have that one person that you always used to talk to, that just suddenly felt out of reach? I get that a lot. A lot of people tell me that as well. And I completely and utterly understand the feeling of being behind in life, the feeling of being inadequate, the feeling of crumbling, crumbling to pressure that society gives you and your family gives you and you put on yourself as well. I understand this feeling completely and utterly. But you have to ask yourself, how long have you actually been doing what you've been wanting to do? How long have you just been mindlessly droning into the educa education system, into the work system, into this system, into that system? It's no wonder you feel left behind. It's no wonder you feel behind in life. Because you haven't been working on the thing you wanted to do all along. And you'll be working on something else that doesn't really help you in any way. It's going to hurt. That's the, that's the painful truth. It's going to hurt. You have to be realistic with yourself. Have you, for most, kids, most of these guys that's, that feel behind in life, they're not even one years old. I'm one years old, according to the first man's philosophy, the philosophy of, yes, uh, you are truly born. You're truly alive. Yes, you finally think for yourself when you've reached a certain, not necessarily a certain age, but a certain point in life in which you make your own decisions for yourself. And that's me, for me, that's just, just one year or a few months. Everyone has to tell me that, oh, you wasted a year being alone. Okay, you're going to sports training. Okay, you're going into shape. Okay, you made some money with your business, but you wasted a year. You haven't done anything with a year in your life. And I highly disagree, but I can't really argue back too much because I haven't got monumental results. It's only when you get like a weird level of results to the point where it's like insane, like multi-millions or thousands a month in profit. Only then will you really like negate all societal pressure and you'll finally feel, how do I say this, adequate and satisfied with your life so far. The reason why you probably feel behind in life is because of lack of results, lack of action, and lack of purpose. I think it's the best way to put it, lack of purpose. It's those three things that really compel you to feel behind in life. But this is the thing, yeah. If you want to live an unconventional, unscripted lifestyle, where you're different from everyone else, you have to be prepared to take on these emotions and get fucking used to it. You have to get used to this, boys. Because if you just succumb to this pressure, you will achieve nothing. But if you use this pressure to mold you into a diamond, like I said, as always, pressure can either mold you into a diamond or crush you into dust. Same with coal. Coal can be, uh, with pressure, can be turned into a diamond or crushed into dust. And they make, that's when they make factory made diamonds these days, which is severely reduced. Though. Yeah, but Jimmy, that's really reduced the value of the diamond. Shut up. Shut up. Listen, guys. Understand that you probably are too young for this shit. Only when I was 16, I decided with pure unbroiled, unbroiled frustration, I decided, yeah, I'm going to get into shape. And I might not look like I'm in shape right now, even with a little flex, I might not look like I'm in shape. If I'm in better lighting and I'm in, I have a little bit of a pump, you can see. Do I put the images up? I just look stupid with my finger like this. <laughs> I really have into this topic. I'm only a year old and I already th think I'm behind in life. But would you tell a one year old? Oh yeah, Where the, where's your business, little Timmy? Where's your, where's your fitness, little Timmy? What are you doing with your life, little Timmy? You wasted all, let's say, Timmy's one years old. You wasted all six months of your life so far. One year of your life so far that you existed. Planet Earth. You wasted it all. Playing with Legos and bricks. And playing with your friends outside. Why are you doing that? You wouldn't tell that to a little child. So why are you telling yourself that?
Are you just gonna sit there and beat yourself up? Or are you actually gonna get shit done? Irregardless of your position. And then after you get shit done, after you see results, after you see pro- progress even, you feel satisfied with yourself and you feel adequate. Bit of a weird topic to touch on. I'm using all my brain cells in order to try to figure out what, what I should say here. My wrist is bust, bro. It's hard to even clench my fist. Mining life, huh? I've been in the same exact room for a year. I myself have radically changed. My desk has radically changed. My lifestyle has radically changed. I started reading books a lot recently. I meditate. I'm doing the good habits. I'm in a much better place mentally. I was depressed a year ago. Depressed, anxious, all sorts. I had my mental health score in the NHS thing. It was a maximum of 21-21. And honestly, that was like three months ago. My mental health took a dip again because I, I got back to the gamer lifestyle, which I disliked. And I tried to make it work, my gamer friends, I love them so much with the bottom of my heart, and I still do. But, it's not gonna fucking work. I chose myself. I chose my own self-progress over anyone else. And I don't regret it for a single second. Because I know, if I am successful, I know that if I am brilliant, and I have my life together, and I'm like a multi-millionaire, at like 20 or something, I can always go back to the video game. All my progress in the video game, on Roblox, on Minecraft, Apex Legends, they're all still there. They're just waiting for me to go back into them. That's it. I don't need to be like, I'm going to play now, I'm going to play now. That is just instant gratification. So you have to choose instant gratification over delayed gratification. You have to understand ask yourself this question repeatedly every single fucking day every single choice you make what is the best move on the chessboard you could possibly do and already you probably already know this but you've been procrastinating it for a while if you don't know this then you're not fucked don't worry <laughs> but then you need a, a serious like a month in order to do an exploration period to find your purpose to find what you want to do to find that thing that you want to do and push towards it and this isn't a fucking job by the way like i mean it is a job but it isn't this isn't in the context of a job like a workplace like okay, you can be seriously passionate about your work and your in your job, but I'm telling you right now that your job is not a reliable sort of source of income. You might be like, wait a minute, but my job would be paying for me for a while and da, 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 da. no. No. There's over a million people unemployed in the United Kingdom alone. During COVID, a whole shit ton of people lost their jobs. For adults that finish university, like a good degree and everything, it's still difficult for them to find a job. How the fuck do you think you will find a job? It's, it's, it's hard to get work these days. It's literally easier to start your own business and make money through a business than get a job. How, how fucked is that? Like with me and my own business, I started at the age of... Um, 16 to 2017, so it's literally in the advert of 16 to 2017. It has been six months, so I think, start my business. Made it for quite a bit of money. I am financially transparent, but what the fuck am I? I don't want to tell the number and I'll get robbed. It's not, it's not that high, it's not that high. I was joking. But if you have something that someone wants or needs, or int- and intensely desires, <laughs> hey, whoa. You might look like it's sus with the tissue thing, sort of thing, but this this is not, this is boogers, not what you think it is. It's not children. <laughs> oh, my YouTube video. I'm watching this stupid Logan Paul video. Water, man. Hello. You see him in every video, but you can see him in video, this video as well. Oh, mm, I love cats. 
Oh, again, double attack. Pincer attack. Another again, another one, another one. Mm hmm. Bingo! <laughs> um, I should make a video on that. Pet, having a pet for some Brumen. Okay. You're probably like one years old. Or like two years old. It's not the YouTube thing. I'm a few months old. I'm a few... Yeah, just a year old. In, oh, it doesn't matter Brumen in general. Every... Every single time someone tells me, Jimmy, you wasted a year of your life. I always snap back with a video of myself a year ago and I've shown it on another video and the video is called uh, what was it again do not accept anything less than your standard and in this video I I'll link the video in the description below I showed you what I looked like before so like this literally me before I was fat ugly you fat ugly and you stink uh, you have fat, ugly, long hair, feminine looking, no muscle, and then I was reaching a point where I was fat and then skinny fat, that, that weird transitional period. Fucking annoying. So much fucking annoying. And then, you thirsty? I need to give you water, I need to give myself water as well. I was, I was fat, ugly, and just, just unhappy. I was anxious, depressed, I was in school. At the time, so at least you're doing something, right? Shut the fuck up! You are. You, no one understands how unhappy I was with life, how frustrated I was with life. I feel infinitely more fulfilled working on making YouTube videos right now and recording YouTube videos and then editing them after I got my uh, Berserker videos I need to upload. I got the extra videos I need to upload for Berserker. I already said that. Actually, no, that's extra videos, and then I got the ascend videos I need to put on, and then my face reel for the ascend channel, and after that, like it's that's gonna be quick because my work rate like actually getting so much fucking bad these days. But people don't understand how unhappy was I was, was was I was with life. I was so frustrated, and I thought running away was the only way to solve it when it wasn't. I I told this story before, but ever since I was young, I've been running away from my issues. And only now, the age, the ripe old age of 17 years old, I'm actually finally facing my issues head on. And I'm finally getting shit done. I'm finally assuming responsibility for my life. Which is quite worrisome, because I am 17. I turned 18 in four months. Am I terrified? Yes. I'm fucking terrified. Horrifically so. How long is this video? I was in a classroom in my school and I, I don't know, when I talk, I was looking at the recording again and I talk in my, this part of my mouth. It just goes up a weird, in a weird way, which I don't want to, but I also have to fix that with the passage of time. Does my hair look stupid? <laughs> it does. I don't care. There's bars on the windows in my classroom in school to prevent students from jumping out. Ooh. To prevent students from jumping out of the classroom because they're so fucking depressed and all the fucking pressure of schoolwork and school. There's bars on the windows. That's how low the mental health of students can be. And I was one of those students with the low mental health that felt like I would jump out the fucking window. Genuinely. There's nets, like metal bars on the windows to prevent, like, to catch kids jumping out the window. Like, it, it would take a significant amount of effort to actually kill yourself. Off yourself, I don't mean to say that. I, I was in a bad place, guys. I want to say that for sure. I was unfit mentally, unfit physically, unfit fiscally. And no one understands this. Everyone sees me as a failure because I let school. No one sees, I mean, people do see the business, but then they're like, oh, it's never enough. I made my fucking first six months of business, man. I made a few thousand. 
The majority of people think it's not enough are the people that have never had their business in the first place. <sighs> or failed their business and didn't go again. You know those phrases like XQC? I, I don't like XQC in the slightest. Not because of like... No, he's a geek. He's a geek. Completely utterly. And I used to be a big fan. I just lost respect for him along the way. But he... Like, he's made it a meme for his girlfriend to steal his house and his car from him. And all because he's too late to get a fucking driving license. And deal with some fucking paperwork. Back on Overwatch, back on the game. <laughs> Shut up, man. He's forfeited a house and a McLaren. He's a multi-millionaire. But he's completely unstructured. Actual soy boy, dude. I think stress and negative emotions and the thought of I'm feeling behind in life is one of the most important feelings you'll ever feel in your entire life. The feeling of being behind in life, that is so fucking important. Like I said before, without negative emotions, you will not act. Because you know, if your life was just pure positive emotions, happiness, contentment, complacency, you would not seek to change such a situation not in a single like not in the slightest you'll not seek to change it at all that's why i think it's so goddamn important you feel these emotions and if you feel these emotions then good because boys we are the ones that are going to feel these emotions of feeling behind in life and stress and anger and anguish and disgust with ourselves without i don't know why i butcher that with ourselves but we're going to ones that we're, <laughs> but we're going to be the ones that achieve We're going to be the ones that actually succeed Because the motherfuckers that, that need to hear this That are complacent with their lives That are complacent with their jobs That work super hard at their job For the boss that barely cares about them And they never feel like the wage is enough They're going to be complacent And we're going to surpass them I say it's a lot like, oh yeah, if you're happy within your 9 to 5, then no, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's just cope him. That's just cope. Cope, cope, cope. Why the fuck do you want to cope? Why would you want to cope with the situation? Why would you not rather change the situation? Coping is only viable when you, when you have at a fucking funeral. When your loved ones are dead. That's when you cope. You cope when... Something horrible has happened to you. That's when you cop. Like utterly heinous. You got assaulted, you got ganged up on, you got bullied. They beat your ass up. You got robbed. That's when you cop. But even then, you still try to change something about the situation. Cop what you want, you're not gonna get anywhere. Copium. Stupid. Catch you guys in the next video. Rumba. I was gonna say that hard work is easy for me. I'm gonna say that. Rumba. Hard work is easy for me. Nah. Nah. Do the hard work, especially if you don't feel like it. I do. I really like the hard work is easy for me quote though. I'm really tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. When did I sleep last night? I slept around 3 a.m. And I woke up today at 1 p.m. Like a fucking idiot. No, I slept 10 hours. Super tired. I'm gonna wash my face. Oh, my cat was being a fucking idiot. Can I get the next video?
I don't like this video. 20 minutes long.